guys, Aunt Becky here, and I've got a new story for you. This is called Ellie's Long Walk, a true story of two friends on the Appalachian Trail, and she is a black Labrador. This story was written by Pam Flowers and illustrations by Bill Farnsworth. Ellie raced to the side of the puppy pen to see who was coming. When she saw Pam, Ellie reached up with her tiny front paws as if to say, pick me, pick me. There were seven little puppies, all needed a home. Ellie was black with a white blaze on her chest. When Ellie and Pam looked at each other, the puppy sat right down, lowered her head, and pulled her ears back, showing good dog manners. Pam smiled and scooped Ellie into her arms. I'll adopt this one, she behaves, and will make a nice friend. Ellie moved into a big round pen next to Pam's desk so they could be together all day. The puppy wagged her tail as she sniffed every inch of her new home. I see you like to explore new places, Ellie, Pam said. Me too. You and I are going to make a fine team. When Ellie was about six months old, Pam began making plans to hike the Appalachian Trail. The trail is more than 2,000 miles long, stretching from Maine to Georgia. Pam would have to walk many long hours every day for six months to hike the whole thing. She wanted company, but wondered if Ellie was too young for such a difficult journey. The only way to find out was to start training. For the next two months, Pam and Ellie walked three hours every day. Ellie didn't mind in the least. She loved going for long walks with Pam. Maybe you can hike the trail, Pam said, but there was still something else young Ellie needed to learn. On the Appalachian Trail, they would both carry packs on their backs. Pam would carry a tent, sleeping bag, food, and maps, and Ellie would carry her food, a bowl, and her toenail clippers. Pack training started right away. When Pam first strapped Ellie's pack on her, the puppy jumped straight up, spun around, and tried to shake it off. <laughs> Pam laughed as she straightened the pack. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. The first day they wore empty packs, and each day Pam added small weights. The packs got heavier and heavier. After four months, Pam and Ellie could carry fully loaded packs and walk six miles without even getting tired. They were ready to begin their journey. Finally, the big day arrived. It was August. Ellie was 13 months old and Pam had just driven them all the way from Alaska to Maine to start their hike. At the head of the trail, Ellie barked and bounced up and down. She was excited as Pam to get started. Ready to go for a really long walk? Pam asked. Ellie stood with her mouth open and her long, long tongue hanging out in a big doggy smile as if to say, you bet. <laughs> Together they entered the thick of the forest and began their hike south. And there they are, getting ready to go in, both of them with their packs. The trail was a narrow path that wound around tall trees and short stubby bushes. White blazes painted on rocks and trees marked the way. Sometimes the trail climbed straight up to the mountaintops where they could see for miles and miles. Other times it cut right through towns where the white blazes were painted on sidewalks. When the weather was good and the trail flat, Pam and Ellie could walk more than 20 miles a day. But in bad weather or over rough trail, they might only make 12 miles a day. Wherever the white blazes led, Pam and Ellie would follow them all the way to Georgia. That sounds like a long walk, huh? On such a long, difficult journey, Pam knew it was important to have a daily routine of hiking, eating, and resting. But Ellie had her own routine. Every morning as Pam lay sleeping, Ellie snuck up and touched her cold, wet nose on Pam's nose. Oh, Pam would cry as she jolted awake. Ellie 
would smile as if to say, gotcha. <laughs> then Pam would laugh and reply, good morning, sunshine. Ready for a new day? Such a happy beginning to their days helped them face many challenges together. In October, as Pam and Ellie walked through Vermont, the weather was pleasant for many days in a row. Then one evening, just as they climbed into their tent, a huge storm blew in. Lightning flashed and thunder rolled, and the wind shook their tent with every gust. The storm raged for hours and hours. In the darkest part of the night, Pam and Ellie were startled by a loud crack, followed by a terrifying explosion. It was a nearby tree crashing to the ground. Crack! Another tree fell. Crack, crack, crack! All night long, the wind blew. Down one tree after another, Pam was terrified. She was afraid one of the trees would smash them flat. Ellie was scared, too. She crept up next to Pam, and Pam wrapped her arm around the young dog, and all through that long, terrible night, they huddled together, comforting each other. Finally, the storm ended at dawn, and when they crawled out of the tent, Pam was shocked by what she saw. The forest was now a tangle of fallen branches, toppled trees, and Pam couldn't even find the trail. But Ellie could. She could smell where the other hikers had walked before the storm, and she showed Pam the way. Here she is. Isn't she smart? Ellie helped Pam in many ways, but sometimes Ellie needed Pam's help. Like once they crossed a wide stream in Connecticut, Pam carried Ellie's pack so it wouldn't get wet. Or when they came to a steep rock wall, Pam helped by pushing Ellie up a series of ledges. They also helped each other make each other happy, like when they played a game Ellie made up. Pam would take off her gloves during a break and Ellie would grab them and run off. Ellie would play keep away until Pam called, Ellie, drop it. The game ended when she dropped the gloves and grinned at Pam with her doggy smile that said, ha, 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 gotcha. Ellie's silliness always made Pam laugh. She liked having a fun partner on the trail. Oh, sorry about that. In the mountains, of Virginia, January brought snow. Ellie was excited to see big flakes falling from the sky and kept trying to snatch them out of the air. But snow made the trail slick. On a steep hillside, Pam's feet flew out from under her and she stumbled down the slope. Ah! Pam screamed as she smashed into a tree. Ellie raced to Pam's side. She sniffed Pam's head and whimpered. Pam tried to stand up but fell back in pain. Oh, Ellie, she cried. My back is really hurt. I don't know if I can finish the hike. There they are. With her paw, Ellie tapped Pam's shoulder as if to say, please get up. Painfully, Pam struggled to her feet. Ellie turned and walked a few steps down the trail and then stopped and looked back at Pam. She wanted Pam to follow. Okay, I'll try, Pam limped up to Ellie. Ellie moved a few more steps. Again, Pam followed. Together, they slowly inched down the trail. See, she was waiting for her. The next day, the weather turned bitterly cold and Pam's back was stiff and sore. She felt like giving up. The trail was icy and Pam and Ellie hiked beside a cold mountain stream. Down a ways, Pam could see that the stream turned into a waterfall. The stream and waterfall were almost completely frozen over. Before Pam could stop her, Ellie was out on the ice sniffing around. Ellie, come here, Pam called softly, trying to hide her fear. But Ellie kept sniffing. The ice under her paw started to break. Ellie, come, Pam yelled, panic taking over. Here she is, out on the ice. Oh boy, what's that puppy getting into? Crack, splash. Pam watched in horror as the ice gave way under Ellie and she plunged into the rushing water. 
Ellie clawed at the edge of the ice with her front paws. She tried to pull herself out of the water, but the ice broke again and again. She couldn't get out. Pam tried to help, but the ice was too thin. She couldn't reach Ellie. Ellie was going to be swept under the ice and over the falls. Come on, Ellie, Pam pleaded. Keep trying. Ellie's paws lost the grip. Her head began slipping beneath the surface. Ellie was going to drown. No, Pam screamed. Ellie, come, come. Oh, no. Let's find out what happens. Ellie heard Pam's command. She pushed her head back up to the surface, and in one huge effort, she dug her toenails into the ice and heaved. This time, the ice held, and Ellie strained and strained with all her might until finally she got herself out of the water. Yes, yes, Pam shouted with joy. Ellie shook herself off and looked at Pam as if to say, come on, let's go, and trotted down the trail as though nothing had happened. Pam nodded. You're right, Ellie. We have to keep going. There she is. Oh, that was kind of scary, huh? One on the final day of their hike, after 199 days on the trail, Pam and Ellie climbed down a long hill and walked onto a small parking lot. It was March and there were many hikers preparing to start on their own journeys. How far did you hike? A man asked Pam. Other hikers stopped to look at the tired and dirty pair. Ellie and I hiked the entire Appalachian Trail, Pam said with a grin. <laughs> Ellie, uh, the crowd clapped and cheered. Congratulations, they shouted. Ellie smiled and wagged her tail furiously. We did it, Ellie, Pam said, giving her a big hug. We make a very fine team. And then there's this picture right here. They're hugging each other. So, on... I guess on August the 24th, 2008, Pam and her dog Ellie left Baxter State Park in Maine to hike the Appalachian Trail. Their journey of more than 2,000 miles from Maine to Georgia took them just over six months. On March 10th, 2009, after hiking all winter, Pam and Ellie arrived safely at the Amicacola Falls State Park in Georgia. The two friends finish their journeys in good health and in high spirits. And there's a picture of them in real life. Let's see, there you go. Can you see it? There's Ellie and Pam and Ellie together on the trail. So that they started here and they walked all the way down. And that's the story of Ellie's long walk. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.